Should force mono water and go like four if we hit. Force mono earth and go eighth because everyone's playing internal injury. Force mono fire. I don't have the mono fire achievement. Maybe I should do that. It's the only achievement that's like a lot of people probably got day one that I just don't have. All right, yeah, we can do that. So elixir mono fire. This is okay, but I really hate wood spirit, uh, water spirit seal, and I want to upgrade cards. The awkward thing is this is better than these, but it still sort of sucks. Five elements early game, so awkward. So elixir mono fire. Is that the is that the build? Are people out here still trying to force formation master? I do lose this, which is unfortunate because my character needs to not lose fights. Formation fire is definitely not it. I guess elixir. Yeah. Not only does five elements not really win fights early, this character gets no early game benefit whatsoever. could roll this Earth Spirit Seal to try to find, like, a rush upgrade. Seems pretty marginal. Sit for a turn. This character used to start with plus two exchanges, and for some reason they took that away. <laughs> I don't really get why. He used to have plus two exchanges on turn one, uh, and then they decided that was not allowed. Too strong. Okay, we win this fight though. You break through, roll on two. I don't know. So we need to spend rolls on four, right? Because we're looking for flash fires, but we also need fire spirit formations. That's a good hit. Eat these two and break through. We're fighting Yanchen. Have to take mark of five elements, right? Do we not have to take Mark of Five Elements if we're playing Fire Spirit Formation? Are we just playing all Fire Cards? I'm just playing all Fire Cards. Every time you don't take this button, you regret it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click that button. No, we're gonna try Mono Fire, which <laughs> it seems better than Mono Earth, right? Which is probably the nicest thing I can say about it. It seems better than Mono Earth right now. Because Mono Earth just gets annihilated by the uh, internal injury boards that are very prevalent at the moment. Whereas at least, at least Mono Fire can race them and race them somewhat effectively. Beat Yanchan, which is good, because it means he doesn't snowball and we snowball. Quote unquote snowball. Well, shame we can't take any of these great cards. <laughs> God me. Apparently better than Water Spirit Seal. Mm. 
Sparse Shadow versus uh, Rush versus Bud. I'm not sure. All right, we should put that other elixir in. It's a lot of damage. Unfortunately, this doesn't kill, which means we lose. That was our battle of fates, and we lost to a Yanchan, so <laughs> that went pretty bad. Uh, six card breakthrough, we take Gord. I didn't really play Gord here. These are upgrades that we're happy with. I would really like to upgrade a couple more cards. We have to keep Flamey 8. Flamey 8 is key. Gotta just keep rolling to get stronger. At least Flamey 8 gives us a slot 1 card that does something. I haven't hit any Scarlet Flames, which is not ideal. You have a Scarlet Flame, that's not fair, you're a Chinry. Alright, the Snake does not get us. We have avoided the Wrath of the Snake. On tier 3, there's like fire spirit formations. Eesh. And impact. Impact is really good. Just take God. Trust that we'll find a use for it. Fucker's got two, three, four Scarlet Flames? Oh shit. <laughs> That's a blast. Okay, we have the makings of a board. No Scarlet Flames is pretty severe, though. But we have Blast and Flameate. Now, I probably can't really roll anymore, because I have to find... I have to find a million copies of... Jesus. Uh, a million copies of... Flashfire. Whew. That was scary. A Cirque? Can't use that. Divine Parallax, are we can sort of use. Are we that hard up for playables? Kind of. <laughs> it would be really, really good to win the Battle of Fate here. How bad is your board? Two, three. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I have to keep this exorcism elixir. Sex sucks. Sex doesn't really suck, but sex sort of sucks. Mm. Maybe this elixir is too early, actually. Well, it handles the smash, which is what I was hoping for. Gotta show respect to the smash. Cosmos elixir, huh? 
checks out. Alright. Beat the tiger, win a battle of fate. That's good, because that means... Uh, Burning Sky is on the table. Gotta get my boy in. This is Ultimate Hexagram Yanchan. Four cards? Five cards. It's like this if we want to break through. One, two, three, four, five. It seems terrible. Um. <laughs> um. Okay, there we go. It's probably not two of these. But what if it was? I didn't really want to use two luck there, but I can't... I can't show up to this fight without a board. Ow. It's not fair. Your cards are good. I'm playing Fire Spirit Formation. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that's good. We just need the Flash Fires. Probably this. I don't know if I ever want this Divine Power Elixir, but... I might. I need flash fires. I don't care about divine power elixir, actually. There is a flash fire. We have done it. More flash fires? I saw that dive and I was like, ooh, I can make a sick overcome board now. Unfortunately, this is not a fire card. Unlucky. Alright, fire. Time to show us your fiery might. I need two more flash fires, and then we have a board that can go forth. <laughs> I mean, Flash Fire is pretty good when it does, like, 10 damage and chases. Don't you think this should deal more damage if you have attack up, the way, like, Blast does? Doesn't it feel like it should, instead of just dealing 4? That'd really be too strong. Flashfire is the most important card. I don't really care that much about Blazing Prairie or Marrow, so let's just keep rolling on four. There it is. There it is. Why is it strong? I have thrown away a lot of Divine Power Elixirs. They just seem extremely bad to me. I know you don't really want to play Double Fire Spirit Formation, but I think you just want to finish this board with like a Blazing Prairie, right? I don't think it's actually Divine Power Elixir. But the real hit is Burning Sky. So we go Fire Spirit Formation, Flash Fire Flame Eight, Flash Fire Blast, Flash Fire. Oh, god. Burning Sky? And that should kill everyone in the world. That should just eliminate the entire lobby simultaneously. I'm not playing Dwight Carol, so... We might not even need all of that, to be honest. We might be able to get away with just, like, a single flash fire in that spot. Alright. Flash fire... This has been, this is like one of the best mono fireboards I have ever 
put together. So if it loses, the strategy officially has no future. <laughs> Alright, good. This is the defensive card, if you need it. This is how you survive long fights. Um, Lava Seal sort of does, but also not really, because it's terrible. Um, so no. There's only one that interacts with fire, and it's Lava Seal, and that's more of an Earth card than a Fire card. And honestly, it's more of a child card than either. This board seems fairly good against Chinri. I don't think I need Dust against her. But this is a fair whack of damage. Six. Play kill her on six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I might die on six. I don't think Dust is what I want to be doing here. <laughs> yeah, Fire is definitely the odd element out. O on one hand, it very often just plays as like... Like, it's not very mechanically different to Wood. So a lot of the time it's just like you play a bunch of Fire cards in your Wood deck. And then... The cards that conceptually interact with water are like, ah, oh, sorry, that interact with um, earth are like dust specifically, which is just like, oh, this card does nothing unless you're playing mono fire, and then it does like a little bit. I don't, I don't know. It, it's a very hard deck to, you know, flash fires like its best cards deal direct, only reduce max HP, which makes them very bad in anything that's not mono fire. So yeah, it just it has kind of a weird. A weird play pattern. Probably taking his... Probably just giving up some rolls here. I mean, I could draw wood cards, but it's definitely inheritance, I think. Okay, more flash fires are great. Paco poisonous, huh? It's this board for this turn. I mean, I could start to... I could do this... I can start to get off the Flamiate soon. You actually making defense, you are. So it's probably this for this turn. Dust is kind of an important card. Don't love this matchup at all. It's a very bad matchup for us. Nothing else is atrociously bad. Nothing else is atrociously bad. So we drew a Flash Fire and a Blazing Prairie off the Inheritance, right? So that means we have still got six Flash Fires available to us. And the full six Blazing Prairies. Can't do much with that information, but it's good to know. <laughs> You feel like you're you feel like you have agency if you state numbers sometimes. So mono uh should be a good matchup. Because the blast does so much damage to direct health that it shouldn't matter that much that uh our attacks aren't getting in. Unless we die to Landslide. I mean, if we die to Landslide, that's another story. But... Doesn't look like that's what's gonna happen here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Anyway, get out of here, Mono Earth Tiger. Welcome to 8th Swill. Bit late for you, Scarlet Flame. I can't really fit Willow Leaf in. Uh. 
one. I mean, we could flash fire in one. I have to cut that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Oh, thank you. One, one, two, three, four. And then that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I could try to do some dust shit here. It seems terrible. I have all these cards I haven't quite upgraded. I don't think we're doing dust. Let's try to find an upgrade here. Nope. Okay. Um, yeah, we probably lose this fight. <laughs> Should actually be this. Because Blazing Prairie will reduce his HP down to a lower amount. Man, this is very bad, isn't it? Maybe it's not Blast. I don't know, this is unwinnable. <laughs> Maybe it's not Fire Spirit Formation. Simply not gonna win is the problem. I mean, if this didn't kill me, which it like obviously is, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I needed dust. Someone else has to kill him because we are simply never ever going to. Meru is interesting, but not super helpful. Mary lets you play this board. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Which is a pretty good board. I want to ditch Gord, I think. <laughs> I, I understand that. M Mary's a card I'm always a little skeptical of. I mean, this is obviously better. I don't really want to upgrade Mary, but this is one way to get faster. Everything else is fine. Let's just get Gord. That is the thing I didn't want to do. Burns the hell out of Chi. One, two, three, four, five. can upgrade the flash fire too in this spot. Bit risky to upgrade a flash fire, because I might need it. Let's play the strength, I guess. Yeah, Marrow's kind of weird. I don't know if it's actually good in this spot. It, it's kind of a hard card to get a good read on. I very rarely play it unless I'm playing like Formation Master. Hmm. Hopefully that doesn't matter. All right, can we find Burning Sky? Uh, Blazing Prairie is great, but I'm gonna just Doom Roll. Like these are so good, but I'm playing Mono Fire. I, I have to I have to be willing to gamble a little bit, right? No, 
Another great one. Another banger. Mm, okay. <laughs> Unlucky. Fire sealers here. Okay, we maxed the blast. That's good at least. It's funny, I can play this board to attempt to maximize damage. It goes one, two, three, four. And it pretty quickly puts people into the ground, but it is completely out of chi on second cycle. Which is a little risky. It seems kind of unnecessarily risky. This is just very good. And then it lets me play the prairie too, which is obviously a pretty big benefit. Unfortunately, we are not going to win. This guy is simply not, not remotely beatable. But with mono fire is my approximation. He goes off on turn five with anti-chase. Which means we have to try to kill on four. And all the damage he's doing to himself. Hitting his max HP is bad for us. To kill on four, it's like one, two, three, four. It's just not enough damage. It's just not enough damage. No achievement for me then. <laughs> You're mono water? That's crazy. You are not mono water. Okay. <laughs> Understood. Like, mono fire looks great when it does that. I just don't have an answer to this guy. Uh, I mean, that's maybe an answer. Is he anti-chasing, do you think? One, two, three, four. He's just going off on turn four. One, two, three. He's not anti-chasing. Want to do better than this there? Huh. Kicked my gourd, huh? One, two, three, four. That's too slow. I don't need to upgrade this really. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't seem like there's no way to win here. He also, like, I don't know, is he anti-chasing or not? He just knocked out this person. Presumably he's anti-chasing. God, it's so brutal. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Let's not play that. One, two, three, four, five. Can't do that. It's not being upgraded. Is murdering me here. I don't know. None of this does enough damage. <laughs> These heart fires do jack shit. So I do in fact need like a million more chi to have a to have a chance. Like if this is Blazing Prairie, we probably still lose. 
Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's the million more chi I was looking for. I don't think it's going to do enough, unfortunately. It it is very hard to imagine this getting there. can skip fire spirit formation. And the board becomes this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Might be better combined. We can never ever go first. <laughs> he can also anti-chase in one, if he wants. He can just swap the order here and we lose 12 damage. I mean, we got top two. We, we hit like crazy and got top two, which... I mean, if that's not the mono fire experience, what is? This is probably better as a normal attack. I guess... Spirit formation is the answer. But we never ever go first. Yeah, you hit nothing and go seven is also a pretty real experience. Okay, so he's anti chasing in one. Sensible. Pretty reasonable to do that. Kind of close. Not really. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a very heads up play. Definitely, <laughs> definitely what he should have been doing. So I can't be too mad about it. What do I want to upgrade? None of the cards in my hand. Maybe I was trying to upgrade this actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you want to do this on five? One, two, three, four. Six is okay now that it's upgraded. None of these cards upgrade well. And I'm never going first. Is Max Fire Formation worth playing? I'd be very surprised. Deals 4 damage. It does like 12 damage. I think it's worse than all these cards. I don't think so. Obviously, this time he doesn't anti chase first. Makes sense. It's just not anti chasing at all. It's playing it a bit greedy, though. Ah, we win. We win a fight. All right. This doesn't do anything, this flash fire. I mean, he's probably bringing in the anti-chase this time, right? Is this worth upgrading? Doesn't seem like it. That's worth upgrading though, that's a good upgrade. Let's just roll off the things that are, are not gonna happen. Three times reduced debuffs by three? That's pretty good. Maybe that's my upgrade. 
Maybe that's a way to win. So I can force the upgrade on this. By kicking these. I'm assuming he's going to anti-chase anti -chase again. He might not. I could put this later even. That's maybe, I guess. it's a little dark, but it might be too greedy. I think that's too greedy. Yeah, uh, that, that's too greedy. <sighs> Maximum fucking punish. Alright, well, we're done. We were never... Like, I mean, if we perfectly predict that, maybe there's something we can do, but like... <laughs> he's just got too much... Too much tech, and literally every piece of tech is effective against me. Like... Any any tech available in the whole faction is just backbreaking to me. 